Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And today in the Funnel Builder call, uh, somebody was asking about how to use Voomly as a background video. Now, I didn't quite catch all the conversation, so I think I'm answering the question here by being able to create or use Voomly as a background video on an individual section. And if not, if they wanted it site-wide or done a different way, I can show that as well. But I decided to go with the easiest possible way, and that is to actually embed that background video into the custom JavaScript HTML element inside of ClickFunnels, and then to be able to display content over the top of it. So as you see here, it's basically a setting, what we would call, you could call parallax, but it's actually set as a fixed section in the background here and then we can scroll the rest of our sections up over the top of it this one here I made a partially transparent background on it so you can see the video around it and then a couple sections below it so let's take a look at how we get this set up now first thing is we of course have to have a Voomly video so create yourself a Voomly video come into the editor here and grab a hold of the embed code and clip that I copy that to your clipboard and then if you want it to autoplay or do whatever loop in this case here because it's a very short video make sure you get all this set up in here as well so that's really all you need to do inside of Voomly on the page itself, we have here, I'll show you the layout, we have four sections. This top section up here is what has the custom JavaScript HTML element in it. Then we have the second section, which is right here to the left, where I just put in some text and stuff and made, actually, we got two different rows here, gave them white backgrounds. And then I just grabbed some boilerplate uh, templates out of here for these last two sections just to show how it would look as it actually scrolled up and down on the page. So the most important one here, of course, you can imagine is this very top section up here. So let's go into that top section. And what I did is I just set all the padding on the top section to zero. And then on the, in fact, let's go backwards here. We'll go to the custom JavaScript element just so we can use our breadcrumbs. On the columns, I went in, set all the columns to zero, and the row, we have 100% width on the row, but everything else is set to zero, because I want to take up the entirety of the width of the screen, don't want any padding top, bottom, left, or right, want to take up as much room as we possibly can, and then we get back to the section there, and in the section itself, there's one more thing you have to set, and that is to come in here and set the position of this to fixed. Now, the default for fixed, you always have whenever you set fixed, you then also set your top, bottom, left, and right. Well, the, um, the, the default that for that is top of zero and left of zero. So it's going to put it up to the top left, but because we set everything to be 100%, It'll be, um, it'll be 100%, it'll cover up the entirety of the screen, as you saw. So we want to set this section here to fixed, and then inside of the custom JavaScript HTML element, all we did is we pasted in the code, again, that we grabbed over here from Voomly on the embed. We just dropped that code in there, and that's what then gives us 100% video cross everything, auto plays, and it repeats. Now on the second section here, what we did is I got I put in a bunch of top padding and bottom padding just so it would take up more of the screen on here than on each one of these rows. Well, I mean, let me go back to the section. Um, on the section, then I made sure the background was transparent because if I didn't turn that off, it was going to be white. So I came in here, made the background transparent right there. And then on each one of these rows, besides putting in a bunch of content, I came in and I made the background on this white. Now also in this section came in and under advanced I made the position on this relative. So it is a position of relative means is going to be relative to where it was created. And so in this case here it's going to stay in the order in the HTML in the order that it was created. In the flow is the term that they use that it was created because what we did with this top one when we said 
we want to go to position of fixed, it is known as taking it out of the flow. So everything down below it then is going to move up into its space. So you had a big space here where that uh, section was, and we said now we're going to make that fixed, but because we made it fixed, everything that is then positioned relative uh, definitely relative, possibly also, um, uh, what's the one I'm losing? It doesn't really matter at this point. As long as we had it positioned as relative, the uh, those will move up into the spot where that fixed one was, but the fixed one will be there as well. But also because anything that is below it will always go in front of anything that is above it, we get this effect where we got the video is fixed to the back and the other stuff will flow up in front of it as you scroll down the page. That's why we can build this effect so quickly and easily. So we got the transparency on the section, the rows, we have those white. And then as we come down the page, you can imagine we did the same thing down here, which was we had to set this to relative. And the section below this, we also set that one to relative as well. So like I said, the fixed one is essentially brought to the back, even though we did not set a Z index, in case you know what Z index is. No Z index was set, but because it is fixed in place, it is out of the flow, now everything else will just go right in front of it. And if we were to save this and do it again, of course, we're going to get exactly this result. So honestly, after figuring this out and after you watch this video, it should take you all of about 10 minutes to get this set up and have what essentially amounts to a parallax video in the back of your site with everything else flowing over the top of it. So if you have any questions, just let me know.